What's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with some unfortunate news today, man. We got your Dennis Ugas in the news today, man. Um, your Dennis Ugas, former what? Former W Super WBA champion, welterweight champion, uh, has the record of twenty-seven and five with twelve knockouts. Um, he's been in the ring with Jamal James, who actually fights tonight. Jamal James. Um, I don't know how he lost to Amir Mom. Been in there with uh, Sean Porter, Omar Figueroa, Manny Pacquiao. Um, he, he actually retired Manny Pacquiao. And then, of course, um, he got stopped by Errol Spence uh, last Mar March of last year or whatnot. But apparently, man, his house has been broken into. So as you guys can see, it says, your, this is his verified Instagram account. It says, didn't mean to make this public, but I do it so that if they see it, they can identify it and they can do it. Oh, they can't do it to someone else. What hurts the most is that I wasn't there, but everything they were looking for, I got it. Come on. So it says, with the penalty of the world, I ask you to please, all my followers, share this post only to pass by a by theft. So by a theft, so knows how painful it is to invade your privacy in the most ritual way. And the audios of the camera tomorrow we have. The sad thing is is that they are Cubans. It be your own people. On February 15th, 4 a.m., two Cubans entered our house in a Blanco, or I guess that's black, Mercedes. They broke the door, they called, they broke the car, they broke the wall to take the safe that, thank God, was empty. They stole the belts from my house that has have a serial number and that shows up. They stole my wallet, they stole a backpack, nothing more than that. The God I serve is going is going to multiply it for me, and you will have to pay with jail. You have to pay with jail. Amen. Now the police report is done. Wait for the news. Everyone who appreciates me or your dentist, share these two. So I guess this was his wife that um, posted this. Uh, share these two scour scourges of uh, Vegas that they that here we all know I'm going to be publishing the wallets that were stolen from me look at all the videos that you have can clearly see this face okay so then he goes on to say your then says our wine is bitter but it's our wine these bur to these burglars who had the audacity to take my belts from jealousy losers and mediocre to break the house to take an empty safe that I leave and watch were a watch worth 15 to 20 thousand dollars for a for cowards and thieves, I got everything they was looking for in that safe. Come get, come get him, nasty cockroaches. So you know, obviously, your Dennis Ugas is um, is pissed about this. Then he goes on to say, "Today my name is a Cuban." I guess you know. Remember, he's Spanish, so this is translating. My name is a Cuban, and he started crying on the phone, telling me, "P U S S Y Ugas, you're you're an idol for us. How are they going to do that? It's not easy." To think that the community you represent can do something, can do something like that. But I'm on street mode, and everything you were looking for, I got it here. Good night. So, well, first and foremost, let me just say this, man, uh, to your Dennis Ugas, man. My prayers go out to you. I know what it's like to have your um, your house broken into. I'll never forget, man. I, I had my house broken into twice. Um, I, I remember coming home Friday. I had got, you know, um, I had, me and my daughters were gonna take a picture. And uh, we we're going to take family pictures and we all had the same shoes and everything like that. And then I come home and my daughter was like, Daddy, your door is open. And I, I already knew what it was, man. And then I go to uh, I go to uh, I, I flew out to, um, to L.A. with my brother to see his, you know, his grand his grandpa, his grandpa stay in uh, Long Beach. Grandma stayed stayed in uh, Compton. So we went out to go see them or whatnot. And I come back to the same thing. Um, listen. You know, as far as your dentist talking about street, on, on being an, as far as handling, you know, being on some street shit, bro. Your dentist, you are you're a professional boxer, bro. You got a lot more to lose uh, in this situation, man. And, and it's sad. It is definitely sad. My prayers go out to you. I'm definitely gonna post a clip of your dentist, Ugas. Now it is in Spanish, so uh, for all my Spanish speaking fans, you know, this is more for, more so for you guys. But it, it it be your own people, man. This and that's that's the sad part about it. Do you know? Um, I don't know how many people uh, really look into this, but do you know once you become famous and once you become now your Dennis Ugas stays in Las Vegas, so you know I, I'm aware of that. But once you uh, once you become famous, 
do you know the most dangerous place for you to be is your own home, bro? Your own your own neighborhood, your own hood where you grew up at. It's sad, bro. As sad as that is, bro, I promise that's the truth. Like the most dangerous place for you to be is your own hood where you came from, bro. Because now you a target. People like it's your own people, bro. It be your own people, man. It be your own people that'll tear you down. And that's the sad part about it. That's the sad thing about it, man. You it, you know, you you try to do you 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 make you make an honest to hard living. And I don't respect people that I don't re anybody that 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 breaks into people's houses and robs and takes from people. Y'all are cowards, bro. And, and this is coming from me. I don't respect it because you can't. You got two arms and two legs. Apparently, uh, you, so you mean to tell me that you can put your mind to robbing some somebody and take it from somebody and, and, and all this, but you can't put your mind to going out there and working hard and getting yourself. You t you take it from somebody that work hard to get to where they are, bro. I don't respect y'all. Y'all are y'all are cowards, bro. Y'all are uh, y'all are lames. Y'all cowards. I don't respect y'all at all, bro. I don't respect that. All right, you. you they, but uh, unfortunately, this is the world we in, bro. You know, I hope your your Dennis Ugas gets all his stuff back, man. My prayers go out to him. And it's because that's a messed up feeling, knowing and it, 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 bro. It's even hard for you to even sleep. Like, like dang, knowing that somebody broke into you, smashing all your your, your stuff, man. That, that stuff, bro. That psh. my prayers go out to him, man. My prayers definitely go out to your Dennis Ugas, man. You know, ho hopefully, man, this doesn't discourage him, man. I look forward to seeing you back in the ring, champ. Buenas tardes ante, ante todo, eh, ante todo les pido disculpas por lo que voy a hacer, que mucha gente lo sabe, mucha gente me quiere, guapo que tú no has dicho nada de esto, es que no quería hablar de este tema, vi a él llamé a la policía y ya quería dejarlo así, pero mi mujer me convenció, me dijo, ¿por qué? Tienes que hablarlo porque esto no cambia mi vida. Esto no cambia mi vida, pero se lo hacen a otra, a otra persona y sí cambia la vida de mucha gente. Aquí se, eh, se me rompió dentro de la casa para verse la caja fuerte. Entraron el día de San Valentín, hace 10 días. Se me rompió en la caja fuerte. Me, se, me rompió dentro de la casa para verse la caja fuerte. Estaba vacía. Pero son tan perdedores, tan, tan, tan rateos y tan mediocres que tenía, mi mujer de un, un reloj. De, un flor de 15 mil, 20 mil ahí y no, no se lo llevaban porque estaban concentrados en la caja fuerte. Se llevaban una cartera de ella, que está con el favor de Dios, poquito a poquito se, ella se la compra y lo que más me duele a mí, se llevaban mis cinturones. Eso es lo que más me duele. Pero de todas formas yo gané eso, eso está aquí en el corazón. Eso no, eso está aquí en el corazón y, y con el favor de Dios comenzaré el proceso para poderlo recuperar. Eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué le digo? Esto, esto... Esto, el cabello bien importante, hago también este video porque he visto mucha gente, esos son los cubanos que llegan ahora, esto, lo otro. En toda la comunidad hay gente buena y gente mala. Esta gente, esa gente no nos representa a nosotros. Esa gente son, representa lo peor, la peor calaña de nuestra comunidad, pero nuestro comunidad. Esto es algo loco, porque es como que en San Diego se metan unos mexicanos a robarle a Canelo, o en el EI se metan unos ucranianos a robarle a los machencos. O en, o en Barcelona, en Argentina, se meten a jugar la Messi. Es algo loco porque uno representa a su gente siempre en el exilio. Y, y, y nada, eh, esto, como digo, siempre guardo mis cosas en el banco cuando voy de viaje. Y como esto es algo entre cubanos, todo lo que ustedes estaban buscando, yo estoy aquí en Vega ahora. Ahora yo estoy aquí en Vega. Yo estoy aquí en Vega y me hubiera gustado haberle estado aquí. Eso es lo que más, una de las cosas que más me duele. Haberle, haber, haber estado aquí. No he estado aquí, no he puesto estar aquí. Y nada, se siente medio, medio extraño, pero es bien importante para mí darle este mensaje a, a, a los hermanos míos, a mi comunidad, a mi gente. Esto es un grupito de, de personas en toda la comunidad, de gente buena y gente mala. Eh, que Dios lo bendiga a todos. Quiero darle 
mandarle mi salud, mi respeto a mi mamá, mi mamá siempre está encima de mí. Yo te ni tú, yo siempre quiero actuar como una persona, como otra persona más. Y la verdad, por mucho que me haga a veces, no soy otra persona más. Eh, y mamá siempre está encima de mí. Oye, oh, coño, esto y esto, lo otro y esto. De verdad que mi respeto, mamá, tú siempre tienes la razón. Tengo que ser mucho más cuidadoso con todas mis cosas, con todas mis cosas. Que yo lo bendiga. Otra vez disculpa por tener que hablar de este tema tan feo. Bendiciones. Y esto es algo loco, 